So here, here we are again with the 57 Chevy. We uh, started to dig into it dig into it because we wanted to see if this runs. So we took the radiator off. There was a crack in that in the top. I think you might have seen that. Took the fan off. Found out it does turn over. But when we were turning it over, this, this valve was sticking slightly. And we were going to take the whole rocker arm assembly off, but we were like, eh. So we're just going as it is right now. We just cleaned the points in the cap. And we were getting we're getting spark, so uh, now I think here pretty soon we're gonna see if this baby will fire up. So that's where we're at right now. Just want to give you a little update. So yeah, we'll, we'll probably see if she turns over or if the engine's out of it. So that's all, folks. Got the spark, so now we're gonna try and fire it up. See if anything happens. Sprayed generous amounts of carbon choke cleaner down the carburetor. Hate us in the comments for it, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't trust <laughs> Oops. It's not turning over? No. <laughs> it's not? I think we might blow a fuse, so you just kind of got to wait a couple seconds. Yeah. Or the battery might be dead because we left the key on. Uh, I doubt it. That'd be all right. It's not happening. I'm getting nothing right now. So. Oh, cool. Alright, spark me. Spark me. Look at that. Hit the starter. There. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hold the hold the hold the throttle now. So. Wait, let me see if it even does anything real quick. Cause it's there, but it's just like a peg. Yeah, it moves. Is it stuck? It sticks. Oh no, it moves. All right. Yeah, you're good. Well, like right, right there. Oh. Okay, whatever. I'll just try it. Yeah, give her a shot. You got it down or up? It's uh, right now. It's yeah, now it's down. Okay, keep it there. Okay, it's stuck there. Good. <laughs> I have gas. That's okay. All right, you got your foot off the gas or off the off the here. Let me let me don't start doing stuff. Yeah, it's, your linkage is. Uh, what? Your linkage is. A little warbled out, but it'll be okay. All right, hit the key. Well, you want me to have it down or out? No, it don't matter. Hit the key. Whoa, whoa. Ah. There. Oh, I'm sorry. I can smell badness. Old, old nastiness. That's just old. Oldness. Here, hold the, hit the throttle again. It's like all the way down when you were taking with it. Yep. Okay. Okay, it's up now. Yeah, let's give her like a, like a half throttle. Like. Like right there? Yeah. All right, crank it over. Ooh. Give her a full throttle. What? Full, full throttle. Alright. Give her another splash of the old that stuff and then go back to the old half throttle. Okay? I think right there's half. Alright, hit it again. It wants to. Alright, let it rest. Starter's getting a little toasty. There we are. How's that?
time for you. <laughs> How many rip do you think that was? I don't know. Quite a few. <laughs> so we just started diving into cleaning this baby out. First we got the engine going. Now I'm tearing apart the interior. Haven't really started in the front yet. That's kind of original because I don't want to take the seat out if we're trying to start in stuff. But I did dive into the back. Took the rear seat out. Um, it's I mean, it's dirty, but it's pretty solid. Um, I didn't find nothing crazy. Um, so just vacuuming it out right now. I still, I'll probably take out that plastic, the plastic, I don't know what you call it, the liner, the floor mat, and I'll take that out. But that'll be in once I take the front seat out. Moving around to the rear, took the couple spare tires. Found a little bit of a rust spot, but... I don't think that's personally too bad that they make patch panels and um, it's pretty clean back here uh, no other major no major worries that I found so far this is some of the this was a huge nest mouse rat I have no idea but not good um, luckily they didn't wreck too much didn't find nothing too crazy just a few nuts and bolts and stuff nothing Nothing crazy, but still kind of cool. Um, other than that, just cleaning it. Uh, Andrew might be stopping by later, and we might try and get this thing to run, even idle for a little while. So we'll see you then. Well, I cleaned the carburetor and rigged up gas system. Can you see it? Nope. Let me know. Wait. There. See? Whoa. Little one dollar sewer gas can I recorded. Very spiffy. Two by four and a C clamp. Get the C clamp. Yep. We see it. We see right. the clamp. Yeah, I got no four feet of holes. A little hose barb in here. In theory, the gas should come through gravity into the carburetor. And then when Luke pumps it and tries to fire it, it should run. What's the bucket for? Catch all the old gas out of the tank. So it's got a quarter tank, I'm assuming. If the gauge is right, the gas tank probably holds 20 gallons, maybe 25. So, you know, 20, 5 by 4 is 5. So.
Well, here we are. Got the interior out, got it running. Now I talked about that vinyl top stuff and I ripped that off and this is a rear seat, but uh, it almost seems like brand new to a sense. I mean, I'm gonna have to clean it off and there's dirt on it, but that's kind of nice. And the backrest, the mice kind of got to a little bit over here, but I think we can patch that or have somebody patch it because I, I don't feel like buying a whole new rear seat cover or whatever so but that's what we're off to that's what we're doing today and everything so um next step will be getting it driving got to do the brakes i think that'll be that'll be the next major hurdle being the engine runs pretty good you know and get a sufficient gas supply but once it can run and drive we'll see you next